Welcome back to the 805 Barbecue Junkie. I'm George and today we're gonna do some pinwheels. I got the idea from Mama and Papa Joe's barbecue channel. I'll put his channel right here. Make sure you guys go subscribe to him because he's a good dude and he has outstanding cooks on his channel. So with that said, we're gonna do a filling for the pinwheels. Let me show you how we're gonna do this. All right guys, after toasting our poblano chiles, all you gotta do is put them over the fire and get them toasted. I put them in a Ziploc bag so they can just steam and it'll be easy to peel. So let's go ahead and get started with our filling. What I have here is some mushrooms, portobello mushrooms. We'll get a few and we'll just slice them. Something like this, put them in our saucepan. All we're making is a filling for our pinwheels. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of parsley. Not much, just a little bit. Parsley has that citrus flavor into it. And I love me some good parsley. Just go ahead and do a nice rough chop. Nothing too crazy. You can smell the parsley, smells outstanding. It's pretty simple. Anybody can do this. We're gonna cut down this way. It doesn't have to be too thin or too thick. Simple and easy. Looks good right there. Knock off the root. A little bit right here. And then just put your onion into our pan. I got some sausage here, spicy, Johnsonville, Italian. I think we'll use maybe two of them. Just want to take the casing off. Something like this. Also put that in our saucepan. Let me go ahead and put this on the stove and let me show you what that looks like. And all we're gonna do is add some olive oil. My buddy Tom and his wife Marie made this for me. Huge shout outs to them. Now I will also put their channel because they both have channels. So thank you Tom. You gotta love this olive oil. <laughs> all right. I had a few tablespoons, had some good olive oil in here. Just to get things nice and sauteed. Tom, the keto cook, he has an outstanding channel and his wife also has an outstanding channel. I believe it's Mysteries. All right, that's a couple tablespoons of olive oil. I almost forgot to season it and we're using Rick's Trinity Texas Rub. Fire right here guys. A good solid tablespoon and a half maybe. It's smelling fantastic already as is guys. All we want to do is just break down some of the onion, break down some of the mushrooms and this sausage here. I think this is going to be a winner for the pinwheels for sure. And you can stuff your pinwheels with anything you want. Any flavor you guys desire. All right guys, bring you back once, once this is done. All right guys, so I've got the mixture right here. They already cooled down. And simply cut it into rajas. AKA slithers, something like that. What I'm using is South Texas rub from Uncle Steve. I'll leave a link in the description so you can get your own. We're gonna just go ahead and season. They want to come out. 
bottle is packed. Whoa, something like this. This seasoning does have a bite. It has some chili flakes in there. But I think this will pair up really nice. Flip the steaks over. We might have to double these, we'll see. Always season both sides. Bomb. Something like that. I tasted the filling by itself. Super delish. I got some pepper jack cheese. Or something like that. I think that will work. Because these pieces are not uniform and square. We're going to have to kind of pinch the sides. And roll. Nice and tight. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. The poblano. Come on, George. Something like that. Nice and tight. You see what I mean? There's a hole right there. So, we might have to go double. Which is fine with me. Put this hole in the bottom. And we'll continue the roll. Heck yeah, that's going to work. We'll roll this one tight as well. Feeling's coming out, no problem. I think this one will be fine. And we'll do the same. And I'll bring you back once I'm done with these. Skewer this side, nice and tight. Pinch it right here. about good trim some off then our nice pile and I get a piece of butcher's twine just to make sure it's on there we'll do a butcher's twine knot something easy All right. Scissors back. <laughs> and just go ahead and snip off the ends. Just like that. It's nice and secure. Now there's different sizes, different thicknesses, but it's all good. Just break this piece off. There we go. Whoops. Our pinwheel. This is what I got going here. Let me go ahead and finish this last one. I do got the fire preheating. I'll see you guys outside. I got a cool zone and a hot zone. We're gonna do it just like CJ did. Put them over the fire. Man, they smell fantastic. As is. Don't walk away, stay here guys. Give this a quick turn. Very nice. And it's no big deal if your skewers catch on fire. We're just looking for a nice sear action here. Cheese is melting. Getting that nice char look. Gorgeous. Go ahead and pull this one off. Put it here to the side. All right, let's go ahead and put our lid on. I have one vent open in the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and open this vent all the way open. I'll see you guys back in 20, 30 minutes. 155. 
152, 160, and I don't mind them being overcooked. Let's go ahead and pull these off. Yes, money. It is hot guys. Cheers. Mmm. Freaking outstanding. Mmm. The sausage. The parsley. And the mushrooms. Cheers. Mmm. A cheese. Mmm. The South Texas rub from Uncle Steve. Mmm. It has a good bite. But not over like spicy, if you will. Mmm. Perfection. Gracias for watching the 805 Barbecue Junkie. I'm George. And please subscribe right here and ring the bell right here so you guys don't miss any future videos. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay safe out there and take care of yourselves.